Try to adjust. Okay, today, exciting. We have Orsoma's message in a bottle, which is number 36. Very similar to last week. For those that have been playing this wonderful intuition, not game, exercise with me in following the messages for the last year, basically, I've done this every Monday. So thank you for those that follow and tune in because it's a gift for you. This is a way to experience intuition and hear what you know, comes out of that from these beautiful energies uh, that come from Mother Earth. So this is very pure. These these energies are very pure. So the messages are very pure as well. And we have these patterns that show up, which I think is so fun. So last night I, when I was tuning in to Unveiling She and choosing this bottle, um, it didn't do it visually. I did it uh, with numbers in rows. So there's no way that I knew that this was the bottle that was coming up again because I didn't because I saw it or it's some kind of you know mental game or mental trick that happened that why this bottle is picked again it is completely not I did it in a random way by just picking a row and then the, the bottle number over and so that's what this is and I had to laugh because last week we had the pale version of this exact same bottle we had um, it was pale violet and pale pink. So just a lighter version of this. So this week it is um, number 36 and it's called Charity and it is violet and purple without the clear in it. So what is that telling us? I, I was curious about it, very curious. So I um, intuitively got the message, but I also wanted to draw another card to just kind of confirm and do something a little fun. So you can see on the very end we have... Um, this is Megan Watterson's Divine Feminine card deck, and we have White uh, Buffalo Calf Woman. That is basically confirming what I thought it was. So we're going to get to that. But first, the bottle. So we have the violet in the pink, and it is charity. And you can see its own card next to it, the flower bud. And it's very similar to last week, right? Because it's the same tones. It's just minus the, the clear. And so it's all about the violet being of service and with love, love and service, love and service. But what is the difference from last week to today because the clear is missing and particularly for this group because it's been this continuation, this unfolding. And what it is, is that it's more, last last week it's, it was about getting like that inspiration. It was like receiving that light, receiving this, this download from above in this week it's about the practicality of putting that into action oops white calf buffalo woman just left that's okay so this week is about putting that into action it's about um taking that inspiration the, from the light from the clear that came through into our lives and actually stepping forward with that doing something with it it is um creation time it's it's time to take action with our heart in alignment with our heart in that unconditional love and, and do something with it. And every step that we take, the goal is to be aligned with the action, with love. So being aligned with your heart when you step out, when we're being of service. So what does being of service mean for us in this in this what this bottle is telling us what does this mean being of service doesn't mean necessarily that you have to like literally have a service named love that you offer to people it's most importantly honoring yourself first because we cannot bring that to the world unless we've embodied that and that's really what this bottle is I, the the switch is um for this week is embodiment this is embodiment of the truth of this of this beautiful being of service, being a spiritual being and unconditional love and then showing up in the world. So it's embodying that and then taking the steps forward. And that's, uh, if you see the, the tarot card, it's inspiration coming through. And then there's the bud of the flower here, the rose or whatever this might be. And it's, it's starting to grow. So this is the manifestation. It is the action step it's the download and then it's bringing it into form into our world because that's why we're here we're here to bring things through us and create with this beautiful pure energy uh that is aligned to our heart and, and that's all it is it's nothing more than that and it's not like a like you have a service listed or you are a healer or you're 
a coach or a mentor or you're you don't you don't need that title to be of service you're of service by just breathing and being here and being aligned with this love and then bringing it to wherever it is you go even if it's just you sitting by yourself you know it's in the creations that you make the writings that you do the paintings the the drawings the 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 parenting that you do if you're a mother you know it's bringing that anywhere you go it's bringing it to the job that you might hate which is really hard and i have complete compassion for anyone because i've been there not that i hate my job but it, it's um some days we don't have it you know and those are the hard days and that's where it's more about us those days really honoring that so that's what i see what's um is the switch with this bottle which i think is such a wonderful message it's embodiment of this and doing the doing part of it in alignment and the message that is confirming that from this beautiful deck from Megan Watterson, which I recommend everyone getting. It's just, they're all divine feminine women in their great messages. And white buffalo calf woman is um, the message. I have it here. My heart is a compass and the path of love is true abundance. So that's exactly what this bottle is. It's aligning with true love and being of service with that and, and just by being you and bringing that energy anywhere you go. And when we become aligned to this, abundance is a natural, it, 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 there's like, it comes, it happens, it is it. And it's an abundance that's not in the way that our human mind thinks up. Like we always think of just money and it's, Yes, that comes, but it's um, it's not like that. It's like everything around you, you, you feel full, you feel whole. And how do you know when you're moving into this beautiful um, energy of love and being of service and alignment? It's when you look around yourself and you just experience beauty and it moves you and it stops you and time stops and you're really present with this and it it's, makes your heart just feel so full and it's open and that is abundance. It's the feeling of abundance that, that this is talking about. And when we're in that, it, it just, things gravitate to you, opportunities gravitate to you. And when we're aligned in, in the moment, in the presence, of love we can see what is aligned for us and we can take that action in that step and it's not um as we don't have to suffer we don't have to struggle as much that's that's what heart-based living and being of service with this does it's when you give from the heart you receive equally and so um <clears throat> i know when I'm feeling like, oh, I'm not getting anything and oh, I feel like nothing's coming my way, which completely is normal, right? It's part of our experience here. But when I feel that I'm in that moment where nothing's coming to me, it's time for me to look at, well, what am I giving? What am I giving? And it's always when I'm holding myself back, like, oh, I just need to wait for this to happen or oh, I just need to wait and oh, I don't wanna give because then I'll be depleted. And it's like this story I make up about myself that I need to hold back all of this wonderfulness that I have until I get this aligned or until my website's done or until, until I have this much money in my account. Or, you know, it's those kind of barriers. And um, that's what really keeps us stuck. So how can we give in a way that is aligned, that is aligned with the energy that we have? And if that means you don't have any to give, then that means you're giving it to yourself. It, 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 it's, it, it, that's just as important. And when you feel filled up, you can, you can do little tiny things, little tiny things that are just natural. You're not doing it to get something. It's because you're full and you, you, um, it, it like, over spills out of you and you're like, who wants some of this loveliness? Because you cannot contain it. You have to give it because it's a part of you. And so that is the abundance stream. That's what it feels like. And yeah, I have waves of it. And then I have, then I feel like, and that's time for me to adjust. When are things not feeling beautiful around me? When I'm, when am I not like moved to tears about something? That's always my um, cue. Like, ooh, ooh, okay. Let me just do a self-assessment here. I think I need to love myself a little bit more. And then that usually opens up the swelling and then the flow comes back. So that's what this is about. This is about taking action with the heart 
and being more practical, more embodied with this truth, not just the inspiration, not just the spirit coming in and saying, oh, this is it, and you feel it. It's actually the doing part and embodying and putting it into form in whatever way that serves you, that serves others. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I would love to hear your feedback and how this, how, this, how this resonates with you in your heart. And what is something that you feel that you can do to be of service that is aligned with you? Does that mean you need to service yourself right now? Awesome, go for it. I'll be your number one cheerleader. I support that fully. Or does it mean maybe like, I wanna do something for someone or I, I just wanna bring this energy to work. You don't even have to like say it. You just bring the energy, let it ooey, gooey, gushy all over people. So thank you again. I love you guys. Have a wonderful week and just embody this beautiful energy for yourself. Okay. Bye.